everyone, welcome to another online video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and I have another science magic video to share with you today. So, hello. Today we are making invisible ink with some um, items that you probably have at home. Um, and this is a really fun way to do invisible ink. A lot of invisible ink recipes have you use lemon juice and then hold them over a candle to get the invisible ink to show. And I tried it and I was very worried about setting my house on fire. So I love this invisible ink recipe because there is no heat required. So even a toddler could do this and it would be totally safe and um, a-okay. So <laughs> the things that you need for this um, one is a solution of baking soda and water. You want half a cup of water and one tablespoon of baking soda. And you mix that up so that the baking soda dissolves in the water. And that is what you are going to use as your ink. So you wanna use a Q-tip and um, just dip that in this solution and you can write something or you can just draw a picture um, on your paper. And sometimes it's easier for kids to draw instead of try to write because it does dry pretty quickly and it's kind of hard to see. But it is fun if you as a grown up um, write them messages and then they can decode them using their invisible ink skills. So you want to draw a picture or write some words. Obviously it's hard to see. And then put that aside and let it dry. While that's drying, you can make your invisible ink decoder solution. And what this is, is um, half a cup of rubbing alcohol and then one teaspoon of turmeric that you're going to mix together. One thing about this is that it will stain. So when you're doing your experiment, maybe wear a paint smock or an apron, um, cover your table space. I have a trash bag and then a cookie sheet here. Um, and if it gets on your hands, it'll kind of turn them yellow, but it's just rubbing alcohol and turmeric, so not too bad as far as things that you can get on your hands go. So once you um, have your dry pictures, you're going to put one of those down on your cookie sheet and then use a paintbrush to put this solution on there. And this happens pretty fast. It's very exciting. So you're just going to brush on there and your uh, picture will appear. And I will get into the science behind this on our blog if you wanna check that out. Um, for now, we'll just show it as a really cool activity. Um, and so, oh, look at that. I love the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. So as it dries, you can see it gets more, um, more and more vibrant as it dries um, and will get completely dry here. And uh, the smell is a little strong, so maybe do it on a day when you can have the window open or even a day that you can do it outside because that rubbing alcohol smell is a little bit strong. And if you have another um, paper to do, you can just take the one you did off or you can have two cookie sheets and do your other one. This one is just um, kind of the squiggles, the drawings that you can do and those will appear as well. So cool. All right, so, oh, that is strong. So I hope you have a wonderful time exploring invisible ink with your young scientists at home. Again, if you wanna hear more about the science behind this and why this works, um, you can check out our blog on our website and I hope you have a great time. If you do Invisible Ink, let us know. Tag us in some videos or pictures. We would love to see what you're working on and I will see you again soon. Bye!